real. What's good, YouTube? I'm back, man. We're going to do this real good this time. Be Love's Challenge. One of my favorite YouTubers. I'm calling her out. Ofero Shrimp Nachos. See who, who can eat the most, you know. Let's see who can eat the most. Uh, I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but you know. Let's just see who can eat the most. I'm going to make some good Ofero Shrimp Nachos at the same time. So let's just get straight into it. All right, YouTube, we're gonna get straight into it. We got our tomatoes, onions, avocados, green onions. We're gonna use this on top of the Ofero shrimp nachos. So let's get straight into it. We're gonna cut into our tomato. If you watch my videos, we go through this all the time. How to properly cut tomatoes my way, the Ofero real way. Nothing hard, very simple. Very simple. Hey y'all, I was at the grocery store. Man, avocados went up. Avocados almost like $2 for avocado. I'm like, sheesh. Tomatoes done, we gonna get into these green onions. Hey, green onions is so good. I don't know why. It's almost like a regular onion, but it's nice. They make your food like 10 times better. If you don't like onions, you probably not gonna like green onions. Roughly chop this, you know, all up. And we gonna use a regular onion. I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but I like onions. That's good. I know people that can't stand onions. Only thing I do, I don't like about them, is I hate cutting onions. It messes like me. I always cry. I ain't got time to be crying. I'm a grown man up here crying over some onions. Crying over some onions. Probably about to start crying right now. Rough chop that. I go crying. All right, we're gonna do these avocados now. Avocado, take that sticker off. Avocado, round that. And I don't think I taught y'all the spoon trick yet. I taught y'all how to take out the seed. I don't think I taught y'all the spoon trick yet. Get that spoon, and then you're gonna go in there just like that. Get around the outside. Come out clean. All right, so this time we got some bigger shrimp. They're not just huge, but some bigger shrimp. You know, I'm going against B-Love's life. She long for doing the seafood big. So with these, all I'm going to do is just cut them in half. Because I'm putting them on some nachos. So I'm going to just, you know, cut them in half. And then I'm going to rinse them off, clean them. And then, you know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna top our old for real shrimp nacho. The shrimp is all clean, you know, cut up. Put some olive oil on there. Put some olive oil on there. Oh, for real seasoning. Yeah, I know you got your uh, your uh, your seafood boil seasoning. I got the oh, for real kitchen all-purpose seasoning. Don't mix that up. See, not even a lot of seasoning. Got everything cut up, avocados, onions, green onions, got the tomatoes under there. Gonna top them over on shrimp nachos. The shrimp looking too good. Yeah, and that okra season on there, the shrimp looking too good. All right, we got our big pan here. We're gonna be making a lot of nachos. I know B-Love's like, she can, 
she could put it down. So I'm trying to challenge her, you know. Ofero shrimp nachos, you know. Got our Tostinos. They got a hint of jalapeno chips, so I'm gonna try these out. I got the original too, so I'm gonna start off with the original. What am I getting myself into? Throw a little bit of the jalapeno ones on there. Yeah, just like that. All right, we got our we got our shrimp. So I'm gonna just toss those on there, just like that. Sauce and all. I probably could have did some more shrimp. We got some habanero cheese, Monterey Jack, pepper jack, some spicy cheese. We're gonna put that on top. Yep. Put that on top, just like that. And we're gonna toss that into the broiler real quick. All right, we got our cheese melted on there. We got our cheese melted on there. Real nice. Now I'm gonna come in with the the sauce cheese. Put some sauce in it. Nacho cheese. Should have made my own, but. Oh man. What did I get myself into? I make sure I get everything out that pot. Guess where it get wild at? So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna toss it in our avocado. Toss it in. Everywhere. Make sure you put it everywhere. Make sure it's everywhere. I'm gonna put some onions on there. Oh, for real? Your mouth water, I know it is. It's okay. Tomatoes on there. Ooh then we're gonna put some green onion on there. Put it over here, over there, make sure it's everywhere. Make sure it's everywhere. Put a little bit more. Look at that. Oh for real shrimp nachos. Be loves life, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. I don't know, I don't know if I can eat all this, but I'm coming for you. Y'all like the Ofero piping bag? <laughs> so we're gonna put some sour cream on that. Put it all over there. Put it all over there. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know, it's something about me I just know how to cook, man. Overall kitchen, overall shrimp nachos. Be loves life, I'm coming for you. Hey, if I had to be loves, you know, seafood boil sauce, I would put it on there, but all I got is some trapeze hot sauce. So I'm gonna put that on there. Put it over here, over there, everywhere. Put it all over the place. Yeah. Yeah.
What's good, YouTube? I'm here. B Love's Challenge. Ofra Nachos. Alright, so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about myself. Why I eat these, you know, good old nachos. So, YouTube channel is Off For Real Kitchen, if you didn't know. One of the best chefs on YouTube. <laughs> I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna call myself a chef. I'm more of a creator. I go by Ofra Lee. You can call me Lee. It's my last name. I like going by that. And, and I'm gonna keep it a hundred with y'all. I don't know how I'm gonna eat all this. That's why I want to challenge be love like. That lady can eat, but I'ma try. So I'm 25 years old. Twenty-five years old. No, I'm not single. Married. And I might be thinking like, damn, you only 25 and you married? Yeah, man. Oh, for real? It's a wonderful thing. Let me tell you about my experience with marriage so far. I've been married for almost a year. It's wonderful. It's a lot that come with it. You gotta have patience. I'm talking to my fellas, really. Women in the same way. The fellas, you gotta have patience. Women, I never knew that women was so emotional. And with emotions, you gotta have patience. But it's but it's it's fun though. It's a commitment, a long time commitment. You laugh a lot, jump a lot. You got somebody that you can come home to. one that make you happy. Everything is not gonna always be sweet. Life is not always sweet. But overall it's a beautiful experience. That's true. What else I can tell you about me? Los Angeles, California. Compton to be exact. I don't know why everybody got this negative mindset about Compton. It's a beautiful spot. have his ups and downs, you know, like every other spy do. I love Compton, it made me who I am.
a lot of beautiful and talented people in Compton. You should go there. Look for yourself. Don't let nobody judge it for you. Always judge it. Don't know. Get your opinion. Don't judge nothing. Get your opinion. You go there and you see if it's rough and bad and violence and like everybody else. Right? You will be surprised. I've been cooking since I was six. And people be like, how you been cooking since you were six? I literally been cooking since I was six. And this is why I know how to do all the things that I'm able to do. Oh, for real? In the kitchen, figuring out things. All I used to watch was Emerald and the uh, Food Channel. What, what was the Food Channel name? Let me uh, number, 53? I think it was 53. It's all I used to watch. And plus, I used to be a little fat boy. All I used to think about was food. But food is good though. a producer all the beats that you hear in my background in my videos I produce them a lot of people be like why you don't follow producer producing is not easy especially in the music industry it's all about who you know I don't really know a lot of people like that but I'm talented I didn't got plenty of placements and stuff like that but Whatever God has in store for me, that's what he got in store for me. Hey, these nachos is fire. We're gonna have to make taste of vision so I can give y'all some. I want to tell y'all what y'all gonna be expecting from this channel. My life, cooking. I may vlog sometimes here and there. Wifey might be on here sometime. Who knows? Challenges. Everything, man. All positive computer over here. Whoever subscribes to me right now, and whoever subscribes to me, y'all my family, literally. Brothers and sisters, everything. I love y'all like family, for real. Anybody that support me and support my family, y'all family, period. Look at that nacho. Man, this mess is really fire. Oh yeah, I cut my hair off. You know, a little fade, nothing bad. People might be asking, why you keep challenging people? Why you keep going after these YouTubers and everything? Like, what's your mission behind that? I just like to challenge myself and I like to challenge other people. Sorry y'all, my camera cut off. But like I was saying, I like to challenge my, uh, myself and challenge other people. Like what B-Love's like, this woman can eat. I am not playing. I'm over here low-key giving food, so uh, it's not looking too good for me. But 
I like to challenge people. If you know how to cook, I'm going to challenge you. If you know how to eat, I'm going to try to challenge you. And it's all friendly challenges. It's like, it's, it keep people interested, you know? I'm not saying that their channel is not interested, but it's like, ain't nothing like a challenge. It, you know, challenges in life, everything. You just got to keep challenging yourself. So, that's what I like doing. Even if you don't hit me back, I challenge you. And I'm challenging myself. So, that's what I like doing. Yes, I have a regular day job. Blessed to be off today. Until YouTube get popping, I gotta provide for my family. I would love to do this every day, literally. But I gotta keep grinding. The grind don't stop. Oh, Not so loaded. Hey, let me tell you a story one time. I was about 17. One of my nephews came over. I cooked them some nachos. Flight. And then he had like his last nacho. Everybody know that last nacho where you got everything on, everything on. This is about to, this is about to make y'all so mad or cringe. I don't know what. Y'all probably gonna get mad. That's exactly what he did. Piss me off. <laughs> Piss me off. He got the full nacho, the best one, the last one, right in the middle, got everything on it. This is exactly what he did. Got the nacho. Dang, I dropped it. Let me get another one. He got the nacho, right? He looked at me. I think he was trying to mess with me. Why these messes keep falling? So he looked at me, right? And he looked down, he looked at me again. He tilted it all over just like this and wiped it all off and just ate the chip. Y'all yeah, know how pissed I was? Sop. It's a little nephew though. <laughs> Y'all yeah. you gonna knock everything off the biggest chip, the best chip? Wait to go get something to drink. Little pink ice water. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm, I'm heck of a fool. I might have to stop. I low key got into a challenge. I don't know what I got myself into. Really, y'all don't even know about me, really. Very fun, not going guy. Humble at the same time. Very humble, very chill. People say I'm funny. I don't think I'm funny, but who knows? Yeah, y'all, it's about that time. Been full. Shout out to B Love's Life. One of my favorite YouTubers as well. Wonderful family. How they come together, you know, have fun, laugh, 
feel like that's what life is about. Go follow her, be loved like. Link gonna be in my bio. I said my bio. It's gonna be in the description. Make sure y'all subscribe to me. Like this video. Dislike it if you don't like it. I don't know who don't like nachos. This one quits. <laughs> hey, but it ain't over. Who said that she could eat all this? <laughs> I'm putting a pretty little dip in there. wrap this one up. Last chip. This for all my subscribers. I want to thank y'all for watching this video. Liking, sharing, subscribing. Come on, come to find out a little bit about me. You're going to learn me more and more as time goes. Man. I want to say I love y'all. I thank y'all so much. I appreciate I appreciate you so much. Be lovely challenge. I'm coming for you. Love your YouTube. Her YouTube channel will be in my box. I mean, in the description below. And I love y'all, man. I thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much for everything. And bye bye.